Okay guys, I just decided to do like a closer camera angle. Maybe this will help out with a little bit more detail. So I did some readjustments as far as camera angle and closeness goes, but I think this is pretty close. Um, I already got one eye done, so I'm going to start on the other eye. And I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Over the whole lid. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and apply our eyeshadow base. In this case I'm using my Barbie Steel Smudge Pot in Purple Pumps. And we're going to take a little bit of the smudge pot. I'm going to pick up some color there. And we're going to put it all, all over the lid. I'm going to go just a little above the crease. And you can take a little bit of excess and put it below. Next thing we're going to do is apply our first base color. Um, in this case, we're using Beauty from the Earth pigments on the eyes. So the first color that we're going to apply is the Beauty from the Earth color um, in Caribbean. It's a really bad glare off of this lamp. We're going to pick up a nice amount and we're just going to pat it on the inner one-third, well actually two-thirds of the lid. So we're just going to pat it on. And usually I close my eyes and I just get a little under my last line on the inner third of the um, bottom corner of my eye. Make sure you pack on a good amount of color because we're going for high impact. We want um, intense color. The next color that we're going to use on the other outer third of the eye is going to be another pigment from Beauty on the Earth, Beauty from the Earth, called Sugar Plum. It's really pretty. This is a gorgeous color. It has lots of like little crystallized silver flakes in it. See how beautiful that is. So we're going to pick up a good amount of that color and we're going to apply this on the outer um, lid of the eye. I'm like right up in here. Slightly overlapping the Caribbean. And then we're going to kind of bring it in just a little bit. Kind of blend those two colors in with each other. Mic's up. Just like that. And just blend. Now we're just going to take a blending brush and we're going to blend this at the top. Now we're going to apply our MAC Single Eyeshadow in Beauty Marked, which is this. And this is so gorgeous. So we're going to use our trusty e.l.f. pencil brush and we're going to apply it to our crease. So we're going to pick up a good amount. And we're going to apply it to the outer third of the eye. Like you just dot it right in the crease. Do little circular motions to deposit the color. And then once you get the desired amount, you just go ahead and blend it in. just back and forth. Get it right into that crease. Now we're going to take another brush. In this case the same brush that I used before. It's fluffy. I'm going to soften the edges just a little bit. Really work it into that crease. Now if you have to you could go back in and reapply color. And if it's not the desired 
um, intensity that you want. The great thing about these pigments is you can foil them. So I'm using my Visine Eye Drops as a mixing medium to um, foil the eyeshadow and make the colors a little bit more intense. So we're going to just dip our brush in the eye drops and then pick up some color. This is the Caribbean and we're going to reapply a color like right in that inner third of the um, eye. If it's not the desired look that you're looking for, the color's not intense enough, this helps to make the colors intense, put it that way. See how much more vibrant that color is? Gorgeous. So I'm just applying my reapplying my eyeshadow here where you know it got taken out a lot of that color. Y'all excuse me, I'm eating on a piece of candy. But we're just placing that color right down the inner third. Now we're gonna line our waterline using my L'Oreal Hip Color Chrome Eyeliner. And this one is in Blue Spark. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just blend this out just a little bit right where we have this eyeliner, or well, this color right here. Just blend out the edges, kind of soften it a little bit, and right between these two colors. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our concealer so that I can highlight my brow bone area. Just blending this in. And then we're going to set it with um, Max Rice Paper. And just go along there and just set it. Just going back and forth and pulling it down right into that color right below it. Now we're going to use our NYC's liquid liner to line our upper lid. And next, we are going to use our mascara. And we're going to apply our lashes next. I am using um, Ardell's number 103 in black. It looks like that. And I'm going to attach my lid. Okay. On my lower lash, I'm using Maybelline's Falsies Mascara in the purple tube. We are putting on our blush. I'm use the, using the brightest pink in that palette right there. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. and I usually just dab it a couple of times and it picks up the amount of color that I want. And we're just going to buff that into our cheeks. Now we're going to apply our lipstick. And in this case I am using um, Max Pink Nouveau. And I just picked this up recently, but before we apply it, we're going to line our lips with um, a lip liner. And in this case, I'm using Jordana's Sweet Plum to line my lips. And this color is so freaking beautiful. It's such a vibrant pink color. Like I say, it doesn't do this any justice because it's such a glare from my light. Unless I co cover it like that. And it's really, really pretty. So we're just going to apply this. And then over there, I'm just applying a clear gloss. 
And I'm using Wet n Wild's Clear Lip Gloss just to put over the top of it. Kind of soften it just a little bit. And that completes my look, guys. Simple, fast, something very pretty and exotic. And it looks like this. And I hope you guys like it. And I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.